and help us in our progress. So, but before we start, uh, I have to read that this meeting is being visually and audio recorded for publication on the Thatcham Town Council YouTube channel. So, welcome to this evening's planning and highway meeting. And so we'll go to agenda item one, apologies for absence. Um, apologies for absence received from uh, Councillor John Boyfield, I mean, Jeffrey substituting, and I think we'll say Lord is Cotton, Councillor Lord is Cotton. Thank you. And apology technically for uh, Councillor Councillor Cam and Councillor Walker, who, and who, is, who is who is who is present. Uh, I can by the yes. Yeah, so you're not you're giving your apologies as as a as a as a member of the committee, but you're attending as a, uh, a, a virtually. Yes. And I, I I can see you on my screen. So um, uh, if you need to speak, then uh, I can uh, see 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 that if you gesticulate. Oh, brilliant! Thank you. Thank you. So, um, declarations of interest. Does anyone have an interest? Uh, yes, Chan. You met, I mean, Linda Lost Farm has been um, mentioned. The, the owner um, was a client of mine when I was a solicitor, but I'm a solicitor no longer. I don't, uh, we're not going to be discussing it because it's, uh, um, it's, it's not on the list to be discussed, but uh, I mentioned it as a non prejudicial matter. Thank you. Thank you. So moving on to uh, agenda item three, we have um, two minutes, sets of minutes to approve. Um, I think as they're, they're closely related, uh, take them together um, because the extraordinary meeting was carrying forward something discussed in the first meeting. So does anyone have any comments on either of those sets of minutes? Nobody seeking the floor. So proposed as a both as an accurate record, Chairman. Thank you very much. And seconds. Those in favour of thank you very much, unanimous. <clears throat> so matters arising from the previous meeting. Madam Deputy Town Clerk. I think in fact uh, that it's actually agenda item five is matters arising is the matter arising from the previous meeting. So um, would you like to explain what the introduce the uh, the correspondence that we've received uh, yes so we have contact on Mycenae projects uh, following our extraordinary meeting on, a, on the 21st of March wasn't it um, where we put together a letter to uh, Mycenae to um, they then came back with a uh, response thanking us for our um, email and that they would be in contact to uh, discuss further. Um, and since then, they came back to us and asked if uh, we would like to arrange some dates. To okay, so I circulate well. Sorry. Deputy Town Clerk circulated a paper. To, so we only got uh, the email came last week, but it only got to, to the Deputy Town Clerk yesterday because um, they sent it to the um, inquiries email rather than the uh, direct address, Which I gather. Was. Um, I guess it was in the footer anyway. Anyway, that's what happened. Um, so because, of course, there was a letter, so it maybe got the letter detached from the email so that there are anyway. Um, so uh, yesterday I drafted this uh, letter. You'll see that the text of the email is on the second page of the, the paper. Um, the key points here is that they would like to, well, we, we suggested that they attend either this meeting or our next meeting on the 26th, and they, they asked if they could do something sooner than the 26th, but recognising that Easter is in the way, and indeed Easter is in the way. <laughs> so, um, I felt that it would be difficult for us to respond, give an informed response, if they gave a presentation and expected us to give a comment at the same time. So what I've suggested is that we do in two stages, the second one being on the 26th, uh, our, our next meet, the date of our next meeting. Uh, and the first one uh, would be try, try to arrange them to come next week. Now, because of uh, clashing meetings and their probably their, their working hours, um, I've suggested 5.30 p.m. And then that means that uh, we can finish in time for various meetings that take place on them, the, the councils need to take, need to attend. Now, that would be not a council meet, not a, a committee meeting, and therefore um, wouldn't be minuted. It might, and also wouldn't 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 be public afterwards, so that then um, we could have a, perhaps a freer discussion. 
I would hope that I'm not holding my breath that they would be able to attend that meeting. Then we would um, consider what we, our response and then we would agree the response as a council at the, the meeting on the 26th. And that could either be a meeting of planning and highways or it could be an extraordinary meeting of full council. That's up to the mayor to decide. It doesn't make a lot of difference because it would be the same people attending and the same topics discussed during the evening, but it might, it might be felt give more weight if, if the response came from the meeting of, of a full council rather than planning and highways. That would also give all of the councillors equal standing in the discussion. But that's something to, that can be decided offline because effectively all that needs to happen is that um, the mayor would need to call that extraordinary meeting and then the meeting, the, the agenda of planning and highways would be adjusted accordingly. So that's my suggestion uh, and that's what's the, the key points in the, the, the response that I've written. Um, so uh, the, the, to summarise, we, we, we are invite them to a meeting one, one early evening next week, uh, and then we consider our response and uh, approve that on the 26th, which is later than they would like, but I don't think it's reasonable to do anything any earlier. And of course, another reason why we can't have that the meeting next week can't be a, a committee meeting, <coughs> we, don't, we may not have enough chances to yeah. send out the agenda. Councillor Lister. So, so a couple of things. So firstly, Chairman, thank you for drafting that letter and explaining us. I think what you've outlined is about the thing that we could do, because we couldn't just invite a senior in and then come to a town council position without any understanding what an effort is they're coming here to present. We need to have an opportunity to review and to debate that. Um, so I think it, it makes perfect sense to invite them in the week prior. Um, even then, I mean, for example, I'm away to the week of yeah. and I guess other people might be yeah. as well. So it's very limited opportunity to review whatever it is they're going to present to us and form a position. Hmm. Uh, so even when it comes to the 26th, I think we might struggle to formalise a response. And you know, the response on the 26th might be we need further time to hmm. actually consider our formal response, uh, which might take a period of whatever the normal consultation period does, four weeks or eight weeks or whatever. Uh, so I don't think we should rush into a response on the 26th, but I think the ah, process... Yeah, yes, but you'll, you'll notice that the text that is to be sent is to consider our response. Yes, I understand. I understand it the way it's worded. To me, yeah. so we don't necessarily need to formalise that. Uh, and then finally, just make the comments. I mean, it does seem again a bit of a shambles, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. To, 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 you know, to put it politely, our plan was to host a series of virtual discussions initially, ideally during the early part of April. Well, is that their plan or not? And if they do have a plan, can you share it with us? Um, you know, we're, part of, we're in the early part of April, but they can't make today's meeting. Uh, so did they have a plan or the, were they just hoping to wing it and get by with a vision without actually ever visiting the council and meeting the community? Do they know what the Thatcher and Vision work is? I, I'm just absolutely astounded that a billion pound project, which is what this project is, is being put together on the back of a couple of consultants who, for a few weeks' work, seem to be talking about, you know, let's, let's see what they mm -hmm. should say, I shouldn't um, prejudge them. But at the moment, it just does seem a bit of a shambles, to put it politely. Yeah. Councillor Jeffrey. Um, Mr Chairman, well, I certainly can't, uh, I don't think I can trump what the uh, leader has just said, uh, but I, I do want to reinforce it, that I, I, I almost... I, I almost cannot get my own mind to grasp just how casually and in what a slapdash way West Berkshire Council is approaching <coughs> the addition, the proposed addition of the population of Hungerford added on to Thatcher uh, and with a maybe a 10 or a 20 or a 30 year lifestyle to actually doing it. The, 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 there just has to be a point at which West Berkshire Council wakes up mm. and starts reacting in a vaguely constructive way towards the public, no, not just this particular council, but to, towards the public of Thatcham as to what any kind of development is going to mean, how it's going to be done, how it's going to be producing something of real value for Thatcham. Because at this moment, 
everything seems to be on the back of the fact packet. Uh, they just think there seems to be no informed, thought through, consistent approach. There's absolutely no way that anybody could seriously suggest that the public of Thatcham have been usefully informed and then asked for uh, their opinions. Yes, <coughs> people have been able to send a statement into the council, the West Berkshire Council. But I really do think that a message is going to go out there. And to my senior as well, because as, mm. as, as council history is saying, uh, their own response is pretty lackluster at the moment. Mm. But if we are going to have pay consultants pay a hundred grand of public money to produce a report, well, if the report is also going to be a bit of jam jar work, as my old deputy headmaster called it, where you propped a book in front of you and just copied it down as your essay, if it's jam jar work, it's not worth a hundred thousand pounds and it's not worth waiting for. Is that actually going to do a serious piece of work to analyze what the issues are and what the potential solutions are? They need to be coming down and engaging. They need to find where the faction is, perhaps look it up on the map <laughs> and discover where we actually are and come and investigate the bits of grass and the bits of land and the bits of hill and the bits of road that will be involved in putting an extra hunkerford onto faction. So I, I wanted to say it, I wanted to have it there on the record. This is a shoddy way of working and West Archer Council should be utterly ashamed of itself and I think I see now are taking their lead from West Archer Council and my impression is they're not doing a very serious approach to this piece of work. 100 grand, hardly worth worrying about is it? Uh, Councillor Foster just beat <laughs> Councillor Crumley. Um, thank you, Chair. Well, I completely agree with the, the two comments that have been made uh, uh, just now. Uh, I won't repeat that, but I just do have a question. Uh, um, if I see you cannot meet us next week, mm -hmm. what is going to be our, um, our plan then? What are we going to say to them? Um, well, I think we would have to say they come, uh, ask them to come the week after Easter. Uh, and that, but with a cautionary note that that will leave us very very little time to formulate any any uh, views. So effectively, we're giving them two weeks. Well, I, I'm going to say I think we, we are inviting them, and, and I, I will. I'm not. I prefer not to offer that in the yes. initial letter. But if if they come back and say oh, we can't do any of those four days, uh, which takes you roughly to the middle of the the end of the early part of April. Um, when they were planning to do their consultation, then uh, then we would then I think then then I mean, the, the town clerk would offer the following week, and if if not, then actually then be in time for papers to go out. Mm. Uh, the very different uh, to be in time for papers. Well, yeah, from yeah, yeah, but the first, yeah, so so that that's a, we we'll, we'll cross that bridge. I, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to be seen to respond. Um, Positively, uh, so that uh, <coughs> if there are questions asked, then uh, we can demonstrate that we've done our best. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Crumley. Uh, thank you, Chair. Yes, I agree with what's been said, but as mm -hmm. I think mean, Messon's got to move this uh, matter forward, the, the paragraph two of the suggested element for the response, I mean, uh, is, is the next step. Let's wait and see what they uh, they do. They may respond positively and set set up a um, a meeting. Um, so I've, I'm quite happy for the uh, response prepared by you to uh, to be sent. I mean, their name is Iceni, which uh, was a tribe I think in Eastern Bodica. led by Boudicca or Boudicca, um mm -hmm. Sat Colchester. So maybe they're <laughs> <laughs> they're stuck out in the east of. Uh, District and they don't know where we are as somebody has they, it. They do have get this sent. They're a significant company. They have four offices in the ma major cities. I can't remember which London, Birmingham, and two others. So it's mm. not a it's not a, a small enterprise. Um, so yeah, before uh, doing that, I'd uh, just say that I think one of the questions I have in my mind is 
what is the brief that they've been given, because it may be that they are in fact responding to the brief that they've been given. Uh, it, and um, the, 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 the intent, there wasn't an intention to have very diligent consultation. So I think <coughs> we, we shouldn't assume that it's, 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 that it's I, I see now, but between I see now and West Berkshire Council, it's clear that there's not proper regard for consultation with residents. So with that, uh, I'd like to propose that uh, uh, as uh, as Councillor, Councillor Lister proposed, I'll, I'll second that we, so that, that you've got the basic elements, if you could uh, surround that with the customary introductions and closing text. Thank you. Uh, those in favour of sending that, that letter, thank you. Oh, well, I think the text of an email seems that uh, separate letters might have got separate emails. Thank you very much. So I should have asked Councillor Walker on the, uh, if you had anything to add before we um, before we close on that agenda item. Sorry, uh, nothing to add, but I totally agree with the other councillors. Thank you very much, and sorry for, 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 for missing you out. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So um, lower way development road naming. So, um, uh, the Sunning and Highways last full meeting where we had a paper from uh, West Berkshire Council inviting us to um, suggest names for the uh, development south of Lower Way which comprised one, one road and four um, uh, houses with multiple flats in uh, and uh, they gave a number of criteria with, with which they were, were assessed. Oh, the, and the, the criteria are indeed on the screen. That helps us. Um, so you can see there that uh, I think the um, the ones that are significant here are the new street names should not duplicate any name already in the district. Uh, the other ones, uh, that done. the other one is that uh, I'm about to. Uh, down. No, uh, this might be the introductory text. And it, yeah, the, the, the introductory text, uh, which ideally should be the same theme. So we have a number of alternatives, um, which if you can go to that, see that's the layout of the the um, uh, that we got the layout that we have the layout of the one. Um, just just briefly. So you can see there that, it, that the, they are suggesting that all of the uh, adopted roads there are um, have a, a single street name, and there are four blocks of flats, which are two in the left-hand side, one in the bottom right, and one somewhere else. Probably that I think it's just anyway. It doesn't really matter. But there's there are in fact uh, two of them. Three of them I think got four four flats, and the the one in the bottom right has six or seven flats. So, uh, so what we're looking for one street name and four or blocks of flats, four, such four. as something house, I think is what we're expecting. Right, thank you. Um, I'd also suggest that we spend, we, we focus on the name and the, the first bit, and then we'll discuss whether it's a, a lane, a, a street, a close or whatever afterwards. I think that's a secondary issue. Uh, Councillor Jeffrey. Uh, Chairman. Uh, I think I would personally be entirely happy or content with uh, all of the names that are right. being suggested here uh, from uh, uh, Dr. Dick. Uh, be good if I could know people's names. Anyway, um, however, uh, my own thing is that uh, of the three, the ones which are under the head of location specific levels and to the bottom and Whitney Drive to me would be my preferred. Right. And, uh, you know, if we were in a position that we could actually agree that we had a preferred and that we're, the others were all okay, right. or obviously, as we discuss it right now, we might want to do be really disappointed if some particular name went, went forward. But uh, I'd be prepared to propose. Yeah, at okay. the end of the day, towards the end of this bit, but uh, any of those data being set for, but so, my personal preference would be to go for those location specific ones. Right. 
Um, so I, I, the, the first one, uh, the first option was um, the, um, the, fish, the, 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 the the fishing related ones. And I sent a, an email around afterwards uh, developing that. So one of the things I did, by the way, was to check uh, on the using the West Berkshire online map as to where the names have been used previously. Uh, Councillor Foster. Uh, thank you, Chair. Can, can I just clarify? I mean, one and two are the same heading. Um, clearly, two is the name suggested by Dr. Newton. Yeah. Yeah. But one, is, is that a, a theme suggested by the developers or no. who has suggested that theme? Yeah, there's officers in the, uh, the office. Oh, okay. <laughs> so for, for, I, sh I should also say for um, to avoid misunderstanding, uh, were, the, were the fishing related ones to be used, uh, I think the, 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 the word pike should not be among them. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to suggest that that would be the, the first, the, the, the prime one, the prime one. The prime prime one. one. Isn't that the fact that the symbols are trout? It's a trout. I think it's not a trout, it's a Salmon. Anyway, so um, salmon has more one of the, the the points is that I think that my guess is that when they say that they like the if you scroll to the top of the doc the, the introduction, um, uh, that which have the same theme, I suspect that they would like the theme to be known, obvious to members of the public rather than just to historians. So. Um, The, but, but sorry, if I may interject, yeah. that, I mean, Councillor Jeffrey has suggested that yeah. that's, that's perfectly acceptable. That's anybody who walks the canal will know that Whitney's lock yeah, but, is never one of the locks. But, but the others aren't. The, the point is that it, 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 that one is, 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 is a local connection, the others are not obvious to. No, no, no we're yeah. saying it's really amongst the ones yeah. that you suggested. So, that we can probably find ones. So, so um, what I would what, what I would suggest is that we we because of that point that we we offer two alternatives, and then if, if the council thinks that they do they, the, the connect there does need to be a connection, uh, that then, then they could, that that will be an influencing factor. Uh, I would also say that I think that the um, we shouldn't be too fussed about what the the, the what goes after. The the, the 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 connection. I think that probably all four of the buildings should have the same suffix. And um, we can discuss what we, what it should be as a should it be a road, a street, a a, um, a close, or whatever. Uh, but I think we should we should say that all four all four of the buildings have the same suffix. Otherwise, things get confusing. I don't think there's any reason why they should be different. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, would would you like that agree to that way forward that we um, that we offer those two alternatives? And I what are the two alternatives? This would be, be the, 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 do you want to read out the, the, the suggestions that I gave for the you got got my list? Yeah, I've got your list, so yeah. I don't have it uh, yeah. up on here. So we circulated could be fisherman's close drive or road, um, with perch house, trench house, greenhouse, roach house. Uh, none of those are already used in West Berkshire, um, carp house. Um, no, I was I was ruling yeah, that one out. I think I should talk about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Not, not trout. Not trout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so um so say that the fisherman's fisherman's something uh, and I I don't know what if anyone has any preference to what that should be what, what that roach what type of road that is. I, I Fish, would, fisherman's wharf sounds uh, really uh, upmarket, doesn't it? It's not a Although it's used Yeah, else. I think that could be a. That, that could be questionable that it's a wharf that would be open to confusion. Really, does flood. Yeah. Um, um, bad flooding, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I, I would I would go for close. Personally, I think that some of the other roads have rather inflated names like um, Way and Drive. Drive. Yes. Yeah, it's a drive. You wouldn't. It's a sort of very slow drive. Um, so uh, if we stick with the, the four buildings having the suffix house and the um, and the one road having the suffix close, and then decide what what to to um, to give them. So I'd suggest one alternative is is as uh, that is set Town Clark Road read, read out was the fisherman's close it would be, and then the four fish for the houses. 
Uh, so I should say that Fisherman's, uh, Fisherman's is used as Fisherman's Lane in Oldham Alston, but I don't think that would be a conflict. Uh, Councillor Walker, hello. Just, just thinking, what about using a bird name, maybe Kingfisher? Yeah. Or tried, something like that. Tried, I've tried that, but um, there are lots of the, there are a lot of them in use, and of course, uh, north of the they're already in use north of the lower way. You've got uh, herons, heron something. Uh, herons. So, okay. so I, I did I did a search, and and the the more common ones are already in use elsewhere. So it was more difficult because um, yeah, that was my starting point. But I I I, I um. It, 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 that, that you ended up with fairly unusual birds if you were trying to use ones that were um, that, that were in the um, uh, use aquatic birds anyway. Uh, Councillor Crumley. Well, uh, I, I read through the, the fish yeah. uh, proposals and I got a bit of a no novel one, which is uh, Captain Cuttle. Now, Cuttle is a cuttlefish. Mm -hmm. Captain Cuttle was a, uh, an, uh, a character in Dombey and the Sun. But Captain Cuttle uh, won the Derby in 1922, 100 years ago. So there's an up-to-date reference as well. <laughs> Something a little novel and a little different. Captain Cuttle House has a certain ring to it. So I put that forward. It does. I, I think the ring might not... <laughs> of course, the, 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 I mean, that's what goes on the doorbell, I suppose. So that's why it's called a ring. You have a ring to it. But uh, I, I, could I suggest that, because that doesn't really fit into the, either of the themes. But, there's a fishing, fishing element. The uh, slightly fishy element, I think. Um, so can I suggest then that we offer two alternatives, that the one being um, fishermen's close plus four fish, fish named houses. And the other alternative is the, um, the location specific one. Um, and we would need to decide which of those is um, and again, I think we, we want them to be four houses and one close. We need to decide which of those uh, would be, um, which would be, which of those you would choose to be the close. Councillor Jeffrey. Beddles. Sorry? Beddles. Uh, so uh, Beddles way or Beddles close. Okay. I would say not Adams, since you have the Adams family. Winterbottom is not okay. Popular bro brook. So uh, thank you. So if we if we do that as two alternatives, and of course for the the location specific, I think we need to um, include the descriptive the, the reasoning behind them as well as just the the names. So can I just yeah. clarify? Um, so we're looking at Beddles. Close. Mm -hmm. So can I ask? Um, White House Way was suggested and further up. Um, that seems to be location specific in the way it's described. It's, it's, na it's, na it's named after a person rather than a. Um... Okay, but so is. So are. Yeah, they are. So well, they're, they're, yeah, they are also. Yeah, so. Um, White House, White House. Yeah. Um, I. I would be wary about having a word with house in it. I think that, that might cause confusion in, in the thing. You couldn't, you couldn't call it White House House. No. Um, no. Could I suggest then that what we do then is that we will take um, Beddle's Way, I'm fairly confident that's not already in use, uh, and then we take the other four, uh, and would we like to choose a, a, one of the other um, Uh, one of the other healthcare ones as a fallback because we need to search to check that they're, that they're not in use. Um, healthcare ones. They, so we, we already have White House. I think that would be a bit, <clears throat> just we keep clear of that one because of the confusion. Well, Mary White House for a start, we can't say. Yeah, but we can't call it White House. I don't think we can call it White House House. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Skeen, Arrowsmith, Wood Reeves, or I like the sound of Aris, Aris Smith. Aris. So we take Aris Smith as a fallback, and I will do the checking. We'll do between. So, uh, we'll do the checking offline to to make sure that they're in, they're not duplicated before we submit them. Chill. Yeah. White House. I didn't quite understand. Well, I say if White House House would be. No, but if it was White House White, would probably be. Uh, we could, but I thought we decided to, to, the, the preference was Beddles. 
And his main road name is called Four Blocks. So I thought we would have names. So we one road before the building. So I thought you suggested that Bedles yeah. would be the, the road. Yes. I'm fairly confident that that is not already in use in West Berkshire. Yes. So we then need to find four names for houses, which we've got Adam, Winterbottom, Brook, and Woodfeed. Yes. Uh, and I was suggesting we have a fallback because, for example, Brook is a fairly common name and might already be in use elsewhere. I so I was suggesting that we take Arrowsmith as the fallback. I'm with you. Uh, in case um, we find that <coughs> those, yeah. one of those four doesn't comply with the rules. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we'll suggest those and uh, thank you. Okay. So, Jen, can I just clarify? Yes. Yeah. That was close or that was way? I'd close. say close. I, I, I'm, I think that things that are a dead end, uh, way doesn't sound like a dead end to me. No. We're not using Captain Cuttle now, are we? I don't, I don't I, I, I think we got to didn't, didn't see us. I didn't see a second uh, immediately come to <laughs> you. Wanted to to the, yes. oh, okay. yeah. Sorry, sorry, Richard. Adams, Winterbottom, Brook, Winterbottom, and, Brook and, and Woodmead, uh, with the fallback of Arrowsmith, and I will do, I'll check offline and let you know if, if we need to use that. Yeah, okay. So, well, for those two alternatives. Thank you. Can I take a? I'll propose that. Uh, do we have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Lister. Those in favour of that? Thank you. That is unanimous. Thank you. So we now move on to the um, regular agenda item. And um, Councillor Foster, as you need to leave, uh, are there any of these the, the, soon? Are there any of these um, which you would prefer to um, prefer to have discussed first? Thank you very much, Chair Paul, but there were none that caught my eye. Right. So, uh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. So we have 10 today. Yes. So, motions of intention central. Is that observation? No. <laughs> so, starting with number one. Mm -hmm. Placing an old illuminated sign with a new illuminated sign and an installation of an electric awning. Um, shall I share my screen yeah. with her, Jen, so that she can... Thank you. Um... Just round so I can still see. <laughs> So, yes, we are looking at 24 High Street. Um, they are looking at replacing an old illuminated sign with a new illuminated sign and an electric awning uh, with the company branding on the fabric. Um, these are the visuals. Um, this is the current and this is the proposed sign. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the awning retracted and with the awning extended. Um, Could so you go back to the layout? Because I'm. Uh, which property is that? Uh, in red. Okay. So the awning, awning. the awning is extending over the pavement. Is this one. Yeah. yeah. What's the view to getting a couple of tables and chairs now? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I received yeah. one uh, rep representation that came directly into Thatcham Town Council and we advised them to contact the uh, West Barton mm -hmm. Council um, and they have done, um, so they have no objection to the sign um, but have a number of concerns with regards to the electric warning mm -hmm. um, and as to the its intended purpose as to whether it's going to create more noise outside if it's for people outside. Um, I'm sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'll turn this way. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, so we received one representation that came directly at the awning, I think. Yeah, Matching Town Council. Um, they've also uh, expressed this with West Barcher Council. They've got no objection to the illuminated sign, but they have reservations about the awning. Um, as to whether it's in keeping with the high street, how big is it, and its intended purpose. Um, they sometimes have issues with noise, although 
Um, they normally mm. manage to sort that out with the establishment quite well. Um, so, and whether it's for aesthetics purpose or with the noise at night when retracting. So that's their main concerns. Could you go back to the, the drawing? Mm -hmm. The obvious point to make there is that that awning is below head height because it's below, well below the height of the door. Councillor oh. Jeffrey. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure it is below head height. I think you're looking at the drawing. No, I'm looking at that's a photograph I, I, there. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's thing in post. It's in not a photograph. <laughs> Yeah, it's still there yet. No, but it's been, it's been, it's, it's an artistic, it's a comp composite that they've been and and superimposed. Think, to the I do not think the awning comes down to you know, four foot two inches <laughs> above the pavement. Uh, on the assumption that it is indeed a sufficient height for people to walk under it and all the rest of it, then I would have no objection to it. I think you need to bear in mind that the high street is meant to be an integral part of our uh, business retail area. Uh, you know, one, you know, one of the things that you get in touch with is we have a whole range of different restaurants, each with pizzerias, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Chinese restaurants, Indian restaurants, takeaways. Uh, we, we can sit here at a town council and say that for some reason we think this is a very in, improper use of uh, the central area of Thatcham. I don't think most people would agree with that. I think most people would say that is a part of the character of Thatcham. And I do not think that having it all <coughs> is going to attract some strange group of people who are going to be particularly noisy. I think what it's likely to attract is if in good weather you have the awning out, or if in rather poor weather you have the awning out, it means that some people can perhaps sit outside and uh, have a cup of coffee or eat a meal or whatever. I do not see there being a major problem attached to the new sign or the board, and I would be prepared to pro no, I'm happy to second that. I'm just checking what the width of that pavement is. Uh, I think it's about six or seven feet at that point. Yeah, it? something like that. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I, I'd like to second that. I actually think to encourage people uh, to sit outside a restaurant and, and have a coffee. Uh, is a thing that makes a, a street much more attractive. Mm -hmm. If you look at the continental streets, that you know, to see people sitting outside and mm -hmm. uh, you know they're talking on it, 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 and and where traffic is uh, uh, totally subservient to that is is I think what makes a character. So I'm very much in favour of any attempt to, to put seats outside. I know the weather is usually against it, but on those few times when it's favourable, be great to see it. Um, so I would support or So I think at the moment we ask for planning permission for the awning. I think a separate permission is required to uh, put out uh, tables and chairs or obstruct the, the, the obstruct the, the footway. Planning permission. Well, the, the permission is required because you're you're putting you're putting stuff on 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 public right away public land. Um, Councillor Lister. So I, I don't know if I have to declare an interest because this is one of my favourite restaurants and I tend to go down there quite often on a Friday or Saturday night. So, so I can talk from some experience of the other side. I think it's um, totally in keeping, to be honest, having the awning lamp yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. um, occasionally they do have, um, you know, for example, when we had our spring back uh, mm -hmm. event a few weeks ago, they have, um, yeah, and, and yeah. it, really, it really helps the ambience yeah. of the town centre. Um, I really think it should be supported and encouraged. And it also comes, it's actually quite a small restaurant inside. Mm -hmm. um, and when you open the door, you're, you're almost opening it straight into the restaurant. There's no second door to do any weather protection. Mm -hmm. So the awning would help yeah. to prevent any rain or poor weather yeah. getting blown into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, so I can see it also benefits from that. I think it actually looks quite smart. I, I agree with the concern about the picture, but yeah. it is a picture, I think. It's just poorly yeah. uh, presented. I'm sure that they're not going to only have it open for <coughs> the height of four feet. Yeah. Six months later. So, so I'd be happy to support. Yeah. I'd be happy to. So, I'd can, support. I, can I suggest we support it on condition that the the, the awning is sufficiently high not to cause an obstruction? Yeah. Yes. Well, the, point is, the point is we're, we're asking yes. for approval of, yes. of what we see before us. So, yes. But is the height not in there in the dimensions? Right. I, think, I don't think, I haven't seen it scroll down yet. I, 
Chairman, I'd be very happy to amend my proposal such that uh, <laughs> the awning has got to be sufficient height for uh, a normal British human being <laughs> to walk yeah. underneath it yeah. without banging their head. I'm happy to uh, second the amendment. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a fair point, though, but yeah. yeah. Move to action. Thank you. So uh, we had. Given Richard seconds. Yeah, those in favour, thank you. So is that with or without condition? Oh, on condition that it, the, 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 the height is sufficient not to um, <laughs> stop. Oh, there, uh, there is a, a standard height, I think. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm sorry. I can no, thank you. Okay, thank, thanks for being here tonight. I hope that the council, the West Berkshire Council officers would spot that. But uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll talk about uh, it. But, I, but the point is, I think we are, we are approving what we have before us. So um, if there's something <laughs> which is, appears to be wrong, <laughs> we should. Chairman, yeah. that fair comment, and we've incorporated it in the proposal. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, Councillor Walker, did you have any comments about? Sorry, it was before the, it wasn't before the vote. Which had a text message. Sorry. Um, overall, I thought the the look of it looked absolutely fabulous. So, okay. yeah, no no comment apart from yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, <clears throat> item number two. So, number two uh, is the Grange Nursery. Um, so I'll talk this way. <laughs> 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 I naturally look like. <laughs> um, so the Grange Nursery, uh, members you may recall, came before us last year for a change of use yep. uh, to a special educational needs school and uh, with associated works. And this application is an extension to the works, uh, ongoing works. So they're looking for re-roofing, replacement of repairs to windows, internal alterations, uh, to the Grange and installation of a new entrance and gates. Could I suggest we focus on the gates because probably having given the agreement to the change of use, then the internal arrangements are probably not too material. I agree, but I do. Um, so these are the existing and the proposed. I think they're looking to do like virtually like for like in the Sign and access statement um, details here, the change yeah. that they're doing, um, yeah. and then that's new. It says replace uh, uh, new to match. Mm. So, given that uh, the only external thing is to replace the gates with something that is, uh, looks the same, um, can I suggest that? Um, can I propose that we make no objection to this one? I'm happy to start Thank you. Yeah. Mindful of the eight remaining. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry? Yes. We did, yeah. Sorry, yeah. No, 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 no. You've got to ask for a second, and you've got to. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I should have asked Councillor Walker if you've got any comments. No comments. I totally agree Thank as well. <laughs> Thank you. Second, uh, those in, those in favour. Thank you. So Thatcham Central, another shop. Another another Thatcham Central. Okay. Shop. And <laughs> Goodness me, the the, uh, the shops in in Thatcham Central are um, getting a makeover. Getting a, yeah, make, that's the word I'm looking for. Makeover. Mm. So third one up is the Kingsland Centre. Um, it's a change to a frontage to folding glazed doors. Um, <clears throat> so, no representations on this, they are. Is that the Peggy's bar? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, so, it's changing from yeah. this elevation mm -hmm. to sliding doors on the All right. elevation. And that's it. Okay. Sorry, can you help me again? So replace it, replacing the windows with yeah. similar looking doors, which just go down to ground level rather than stop about 18 inches above ground. And they are folding. Yeah, and I assume that will again enable them to um, use the area outside, oh, right. which of course is private. So that would be a matter of them. Mm -hmm. I am very happy to support that because I think, again, that feels like... 
No objection, you mean? Um, yeah. No objections, proposed no objections. Um, because I, I think that also opens up that space, mm -hmm. which is otherwise a bit sort of cramped. That corner as well. So. Yeah. So you don't walk into that unless you're going to the bar. I'm just second that. Thank you. Propose and second those in favour. Thank you very much. Unanimous. <clears throat> Um, so, number four is, again, Thatcham Central, uh, 14A, the Broadway. So, um, so, it's this one here, which is... Um, I think it's the A. It's the A. It's the old bank, and they're turning it into a pizza wheel or pizza takeaway. Yeah, it's going to be used. Yeah, they, <coughs> a, a, I think the name is Caprino. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're looking for consent okay. to display one facial sign and one projecting sign. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to be white, green, and grey. Um, the maximum projection of the advertisement from the face of the building is 0.8 metres and the height from the ground to the mm -hmm. base of the sign is 2.6 metres. 2.631 metres. I wonder which, which corner of the paving slab they measured that from. Okay. Anyone wish to make any comments before we uh, have a proposal? Uh, I was just very glad to see the um, place being you know, developed and being turned into uh, something. Uh, so uh, I've got no objection. Councillor Lister. Happy to second that. Yeah, I agree with Councillor Crumley. It's, it's great to see yeah. the actual investment in some buildings. Good. Sorry, I to second that. Second those in favour. Thank you. You'll notice we're still I'm glad it's not another hairdresser's. <laughs> well, I yes, you can't have too many hairdressers, Jen. Can you got no hair? Quite a lot in that, Jim. <laughs> we are now moving on to 97 Station Road. Um, application is to demolish a single story element to the rear of the property and construct a two-storey side extension and single-storey rear extension. Um, so it's this property on the corner here. What's the, what's the side, do you know what the side road is? Uh, no, that, that's, yeah, that's, is that Station Road? Just wondering what the... What? Yes, that's okay. Station Road yeah. there. And that's Oak Tree okay. Road. Oh, hello. There we go. Um, so it's this property here. Um, they are proposing to remove the existing story element at the back mm -hmm. here. Um, and a two-storey side extension on, um, which is set back from the front, um, going to the rear of the property, and then with a single-storey rear extension across the back. Um, so they're looking to add a further bedroom to become a four bedroom house and reconfigure the ground floor space. So this is existing mm -hmm. the ground floor um, and they are looking to go out to the side and out to the back to create a family area and a kitchen diner to the side. Um, and they are going to put two parking spaces, it looks like, to the side here. <coughs> um, and then this is the existing uh, first floor plan. Um, and then looking at the proposed first floor plan, they're going to extend out over the, to, 
and the second story out here to create a main master bedroom, then reconfigure the top floor so you've got a small little mm -hmm. bedroom there. Okay, thank you. Councillor Jeffrey. Chairman, I believe that in planning parlance, they call the extension uh, needs to be subservient to the main mm. uh, uh, part of the property, and, uh, and it is. Uh, I think that there, uh, I can see no problem uh, mm. with it. Uh, I'd be perfectly happy to propose and I, that we accept it, though I can hope that other people yeah. might have other comments to make. My only comment is that there should be a condition that the the tree is not harmed through in, in, during the works or after. It's quite close. Happy to go with that, Chairman. Yes, I have got that. So have a, <coughs> I, 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 so have a seconder for that one. Councillor Crumley, sorry. Is that support or it's objection? No objection. Uh, no, with, no, could, no, could just check there's no representation from the, uh, the neighbour? Yeah, no representations. Um, mm. Then I think there's a small new ish housing development here. But yeah, it's about the other half of the block. In the, in the yeah. overall scheme of things, it's pretty se separate. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's a semi detached house, isn't it? Oh, the other, yeah, yeah, yes. Fine, I guess. So, because the rear, rear extension would. Is there extension with single single floor? yeah so th th I was just trying to work out what the what's the impact on the rear yeah which you can't quite tell um, mm. so you've got a single story down there mm. coming around there I think um, well, the Longbridge Road estate have got all those buildings which have had. Okay, yeah, 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 thank you. So, yes, uh, yes, did we take get as far as a vote? I don't think we did, did we? No, no, you so, the proposer. It, I'm yeah, to the the okay, proposer, council. Okay, thank you. Proposed and seconded anyway. Are those in favour with that? Request that so there's a condition uh, on not harming the tree. Chen, I'm totally happy with it's been accepted. Yeah. But if I propose it, I don't know if it's going to be Okay. We had a, we had a request to be preservation orders, didn't we? I seem to recall a um, week meeting or two ago uh, that uh, asking us to nominate trees to be given tree preservation orders. Mm -hmm. That might be a, a candidate. Mm -hmm. Quite a prominent tree. Anyway, that's a matter for another meeting. So, item six, Action Central. Okay. Oh, damn. We can't very good. Right, so this is 20B, the high street. Um, the application is to demolish an existing detached home workshop and build a garage extension. Um, there's no representations in this. No, it's this little section here. Um, can you see? Um, so they're looking to demolish that <coughs> and extend it <coughs> here. Um, and So that's the existing workshop <coughs> garage elevations, and they are proposing to slightly larger in height. Um, so the workshop can attach it here. Um, it is looking this bit here on the map. So I think we can safely say that it's not uh, it's not particularly visible. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Jeffrey. Yeah, when I looked at the drawings when they came out, uh, uh, I thought this has got really very little impact. Uh, it brings a negative impact 
on anybody. It's just them actually changing from something which they used to have as a workshop to what has historically been a workshop and putting it in a permanent garage. If the ERC church has not put uh, an objection and uh, the other residents around uh, have put in an objection, uh, I don't know if we can go off the record for a moment, including the mayor, unquote, um, then I think uh, mm. let's just go ahead and uh, give it approval. I would propose yeah. approval. Thank you. No I propose no objection. Yeah, do I have a seconder for that? Councillor Lister, those in favour of no objection, thank you. <clears throat> so, this, uh, moving through this is quite rapidly compared to some, some meetings. Item seven, I'm afraid we've, we've run out of um, run out elements in Central. That's, that's all right, I don't mind going to some, <clears throat> another, another ward now that we're on a fresh page. <laughs> so, um, move to Kennett School now. Um, so this is an application for a new single story teaching block. So it looks like the school are going to be providing uh, three T-level courses from September 2023 and the current area within the school is apparently severely undersized and overcrowded, lack of practical spaces required for the courses. The school is currently bidding for funding for the new teaching block, some of the existing facilities will move into the new building and free up space with the existing, within the existing school. Um, so they're looking to add, so here's the elevations, um, and then the screen will catch up. So I can see. No, this is the... Mm -hmm. Um, so they're looking to put in health, two health and science classrooms, a creative design classroom, um, creative design filming stage area, business administration classroom, um, mm -hmm. PTA. Yeah. Sorry. I guess really what we're interested in is the outside of it, not the. Yeah. We, we support the internal part, I assume. Yeah. It's a question of whether the, the outside. It causes a detriment. So, uh, if we go, I think, go, if you go back to the plan, because that's probably the most important thing as to where it is. Do, do we know that's the existing? Is, is there an, a plan of the okay. further down? Um. I reflect. Okay. Uh, it, it, this can you scroll down? So that's, that's, that's the last thing. They're showing the same thing. Yeah. Um, anything for the, below the below the yeah, I can go on the online and have a quick look and see if there's anything else. Um, just just scroll to the right. Well, hang on, the thing again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's in fact adding, is, it, is that just that's a new a new block? Mm -hmm. Okay, within the in addition and not demolishing anything. So um, I just note that it's again not really visible to anyone yeah. apart from the school. I think that the, the thing that just uh, to note is under, undersized and overcrowded. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe when our I see any consultants come across and tell us the 30 year vision, they're going to explain. At last, what's what's the vision for the school? I mean, this how how are the school buildings? It's all very peaceful, yeah. isn't it? But the original yeah. is 1956, 57, I think. Yeah, but absolutely no objection, of course, to that. And yeah. it's, it's in a it's in a discreet place, and we've got no objection to the. Thank you. Any comments from Councillor Walker? I was just thinking that I used to my class used to be in that area as well in the old terrapins. <laughs> But no, no objections anyway. We need a um, big area. Okay, so proposal, Councillor Lister, second the Councillor Crumley beat you by a millisecond. Those in favour of no objection, thank you.
Right, so now we have an application from uh, Rebound Electronics uh, of units eight and nine Gable Way. Um, they're looking to install a generator with associated cabling. Um, so it would be used in the event of a, mount, a mains power cut uh, that would shut down the systems at present. Um, so providing backup supply of electricity. Um, they are looking to let me. I think they're looking at putting it in this little corner here. Well, because of my previous life, I can even tell you where the electric meter is there. Um, there's a nice picture of a generator. Okay. I think I think they're looking at yeah. this bit here. I think they're losing yeah. one parking space. Yeah. Um, so could I suggest that um, in an industrial area, a generator that's one and a half meters high is unlikely to be a serious detriment? I guess the question is only the, the one parking space. Chairman, so. uh, <laughs> I think you can make the suggestion that you made, and I would propose that we raise no objection. I have the second, yeah, Councillor Lister. I, just, I, th I think Councillor Walker probably don't need your unlikely to have an input on, on, on generators. No idea about generators. <laughs> Sadly. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. No, he's true. I have no idea. Just Sorry about that. It's a modern world. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I do you know sort of what what to uh, count. Oh, I've been watching item nine. Yeah. Item nine, yes. So we have uh, Fetch of the Northeast now, uh, lost conversion to form habitable accommodation. Is yeah, right, so this is HR lot close. Um, they are looking for a loft conversion to form habitable accommodation with rear, dormer, and roof lights to front. Um, there's no current representations. Now, later on, when I go through the decision notice, you'll notice this has come up before on the decision notice. We previously applied for a certificate of local development, mm -hmm. um, but that was refused. Um, that was in February. Um, that was refused because uh, at my planning commission stated that um, there should be no additions or extensions to the dwelling um, within the curtilage. Uh, this has to be granted by local planning authority on an application, so they need to apply for planning okay. permission. That's a legal, it was, it was a legal issue. Yeah, yeah. so okay. you need to apply for planning mm -hmm. permission. Um, so, yeah, uh, so that's the reason behind it. Um, so they are looking to, to the front, you've got the bellocks and to the rear, the dormer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can we see the dormer, please? Because they can be. No, and Julie, that looks um, to me unduly prominent. It's, uh, it's being done that modern way, isn't it, where it sticks out? I don't personally very much like it. I don't think it adds to the character of a house, but I think you're on, probably on yeah. shaky ground if you're, trying to, if you're trying to fight it and if no objections being raised. Why any neighbours? So, yeah. yeah, it looks like they're putting the bedroom in a study. Mm -hmm. um, Can you just go back to the layout because that's Sorry. probably the, no, I mean the, sorry, the, the, the location plan because that's probably the most significant thing as to where. Um, <clears throat> okay, so well, if you go there, that, no, that's where the, the one below the, that one there, it's probably the best, best indication mm -hmm. of, of how it relates to the other houses. <clears throat> oh, it is. I mean, the rear is quite visible to uh, yeah. the surrounding houses to the rear. It's some, some distance away. In, the, in, in my experience, yeah. the, the, there are uh, no, strict planning mm. guidelines against having uh, 
uh, dormers, such as appears to be described as jutting out of the large flat uh, roof. Dormers are supposed to add light, not extra accommodation. I, I, well, can, can we have, a, what, what's the best uh, plan we've got for this uh, dormer, please? Can we have a look at it? It seems to be quite considerable. Sorry. No. So that's yeah, there, top, top right there. So that's going to be a large flat roof and jutting out across that uh, two, two rooms. Uh, I, I don't like it, I think it's quite... Yeah, well, I, I don't, I don't, and I'm with Councillor Crumley, I, I don't like it, but frankly, if none of the locals have complained, I, yes. is, is, that, is that a planning ground? No, it's not a planning ground, it's just, re it's just I think, realistic. And if the planners really don't like it, then the, the planners will be the ones that say, no, this didn't ought to be permitted. Is that ducking the issue? I think so, because uh, you know, matters such as this do get through um, at officer level if there isn't a, a concerted uh, voice heard against them. Well, to be perfect, to be perfect, oh, pardon, pardon me, Chairman, yeah. uh, to be perfectly honest, if a proposal were made, uh, uh, what, what are we able to do to ra raise a... So we can either support, which we only do when there's a public policy reason for, for supporting, or yes. make no objection or object, and then we have to give reasons, well, we ought to give, re we ought to give reasons why we object. Um, if... If we were to object on the ground that it is not within the character of the ex of the estate to have that kind mm. of dormer and that it's a bit and it's a bit over half, mm. then um, then I'd be perfectly happy to have made that remark. I don't think we're frankly going to get very far with it, but mm. maybe I'm right, so, maybe I'm wrong. Councillor Lister, do you have any thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm just looking at the, the Google Maps. Um, I, do, I do wonder if the people in Cowslip Close will have been, or Cowslip Crescent will have been contacted, mm. uh, given that it's some way back from the, yeah. where the proposal is. I don't quite know how the planning notices are presented. They're normally just in the lamppost next to yeah. the house. Yes, and... Uh, so if you're, if you're in Council of Close, you'd never see that unless you're giving a separate notice from West Berkshire Council through the door. I, I agree that um, whether it's visible or not is a consideration, but uh, uh, I say that national planning guidance is dead against extensions, dormers of this nature, and uh, that is a sufficient ground for us to object. So if we have a debate, could I ask Councillor Walker for her views on this, if you have any comments? I'm going to say no objections for this one because I'm all in favour. But then again, it is not in keeping with the other houses, though, is it? <clears throat> no, no. It's, it's a, yeah. It is a first off. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there are houses which have got the roof or the loft conversion. Yeah, but that's but not. I haven't seen any of the yeah. these windows. Yeah. If you have a relux, or have I got yeah. the right terminology? If, yeah. you have, if you have what I would have called a sort of a skylight, right, yeah. then uh, it may be nice or it may, may not be nice for you within the property, mm. but frankly, you're not adding to any overlooking or overpowering mm. of the site. And, and if, if Councillor Crumley is going to go ahead with his proposal, I'll happily second it. I, I propose I've already stated that you need me to okay. freshly articulate it. Okay, so yet Council. So those in favour of uh, making an objection on the grounds, I think it's grounds of overdevelopment. Or, or is it the grounds of overlooking? Over the overdevelopment and overlooking, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's also the size and bulk and yeah. And not, no, frankly, monstrosity of the, uh, the size. Yeah. <laughs> monstrosity, we, yeah. we can't get yeah. away with it. But in fact, so we have a proposal and a seconder. Those in favour of Object, uh, of, of objecting. Uh, those against objecting and abstentions? Just abstain, they're coming my mind up. Uh, so, so that is, um, we, we object because there was a two to, two to zero. Um, thank you. <clears throat>
So if we get to the last one, adjacent parish. So presumably we should only look at the side that faces the parish. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 this presumably is in cold ash. I, I, uh, it would be still within. It's on Heath Lane. Um, yes, I know the boundary runs. I thought in the process of adjusting the boundary so that uh, there's a, all included. Uh, there was a, I think there was an anomaly at the wording. Would you say confusing? I. Oh, this uh, one again. Hang on. Oh, and that's actually not technically within the well, I thought it was. Yeah, I, yeah, it's not. I, thought, no. I thought that we went right up to the whole Heath Lane and down the um, the the eastern side of Heath Lane until we got to North Crop uh, Northfield Road, by which point we then picked up both sides and also mm. half of um, whatever it's called. Yeah, really. Yeah. Let's assume it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we, we can comment. We don't. We don't have to decide whether it's in the parish or not for the purposes of commenting. Well, indeed, indeed. Um, this is the famous property with the yeah. famous dispute over the land and the fence. I think that came to us several times before. Mm. I've not seen this one before. No, because there was a discussion about putting a road through it, wasn't there? And, uh, in an early one. Recall. We objected to that. Uh, so I might manage to skip out of planning for seven mm. years. <laughs> so this is the current elevations. Um, they're looking to do a first floor extension and a single story extension to the side of the property. Um, so these are the existing. Uh, yeah, I've just checked on the West Berkshire online map. There's about six properties on that on adjacent to that roundabout that are in in and they're actually, and they're actually in Coldash. Yeah, really? I thought this was all in the process of being changed. Uh, they changed the district boundaries, but not the parish boundaries. Uh, yeah, the boundaries, heard that. so I think about oh, right. Yeah. So this is the existing site. Um, and they are looking to add a further bedroom and reconfigure the. Sorry, is this as it is or is that? Sorry, that happen? was as it is. Yep. Um, and moving forward. The shaded bit is the extension. Um, it's difficult to fit this one on, sorry. So the front elevation, so we're looking at a going over to the first floor here and then converting this here. Nice bit of subservience there, I, I think. That's insane. Um, you have to have subservience. Though. Absolutely. So this will remain the same and then this room will become a sitting room, a study and a garden room. <coughs> um, and then above we have Bedroom, bathrooms, and passage through to a new bedroom with mm. suite access. Mm. I'm not too bothered about what it looks like inside. <laughs> it looks like yeah. inside, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the thing I take a bit of um, this point is yeah, the actual this fence that it's on. Well, yeah. yeah. The metal, you know, it really restricts the, the pavement there. But they've already done that. They, I don't think they're planning. Yeah, they, uh, I can remember those. I remember the sorry. discussion, but we thought that was going to be set back a bit. In this we asked, no, we asked for it to be set back, and yeah, the West um, Berkshire Council didn't, didn't, didn't. I see it every day when I drive by. And it's, it's not good, as a jar of spell. Okay, so um, is this the one, Councillor? Yes, yeah. yes, right. Yeah. So it is in fact hidden behind that ghastly fence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not <laughs> a fence. I suppose yeah, it's good for Substantial plot, um, uh, and uh, the extension seems to go right up to the boundary. Is that right? Because that's not an idea I yeah. like. How do you get to that? Do we want to object on the grounds that it is potentially, or it, or it is, in our view, overdevelopment of the site? 
as long as it doesn't change the access going in and out of that driveway, which is right into the roundabout, that's the that's the most challenging thing about location. Mm -hmm. I think it it's not a major <clears throat> change. You've already got that pitch roof. It's going taking the pitch roof up slightly higher, but still subservient, and then putting a slight bit of pitch roof and yeah. the same as that there. Yeah, and there's no change to the. Uh, gate is there for the driveway uh, that remains the same location. Mm. So, so it seemed to me so as, as, as if it was going right up to the boundary. It, it is. I, I presume that's not the case. It is. It's going, but it, it, it's going where that that um, Garrett, that shed is there. Mm -hmm. So the shed is replaced by something roughly the height of what's to the left of it, and what's to the left of it goes up higher so that they can get a door, a, a second room in. Oh, that is a pretty full on development, isn't it? Um, but it is set back quite a lot. And it is well, third. Yeah, I, I, I think I could support a proposal that it's uh, an overdevelopment of the side. Thank you. Uh, before we go to second, yeah, Councillor Walker, do you have any views on this one? Personally, I like it. Um, you know, people, it's cheaper to. <laughs> to develop on your own house then move somewhere so if they need to develop it because the families are getting larger then absolutely so i've got no problems with it thank you so uh, i have a proposal from was it councillor crumley okay, can i just comment okay. yeah. can, can i just um uh, how many bedrooms will there be in total and how many car park spaces are there because I'm, I'm just concerned about the access in and out of the property so We've got four bedrooms going from three bedrooms, I think it is. Um, I did look at highways response and they said that parking is acceptable. Okay, thank you. Sorry, what was the comment about parking? It's acceptable. Uh, highways. Highways, mm -hmm. Okay, so do I have a proposal from Councillor Crumley to, to object? Was that? But when, I'm, it still looks to me, I mean, look on the left hand yeah. side, the, the, the extension goes right up to the boundary. So, how do you get to the rear of the property? On the other side, you can go, you can go, there's plenty of space on the other side. If that is, it might be shown that way. Room on the other side. All right, okay. I, uh, I wasn't, I don't think I can object on. There we have, you're saying no objection. Anyone? A contrary view before we go to yeah. so, so, um, to, to meant, to, yeah. would you mind just going back to the the Google Street View? I mean, I'm still just trying to work out the access, right? So, is, is the gate to the property is it the brown parts yeah. on the left hand side? The is, is there the grey gate? So, is, is that brown? It's that dark one that's been yeah. painted yeah. there, yeah. And then the other one is, is for the yeah, and that's for the one on the right. So, so, so the gate on the left will be the access. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. the, uh, I'm just trying to work out can you still get the vehicles in there? Is the parking? Well, it's not changing. It's not changing the area at the front of the property. Is it, so is it the front of the property not moving at all? No, it's. it's um, I think so. No. <coughs> well, the front of the property will look different because you've got the additional height. Yeah, but it's not we're not reducing the area at the, in front of the property for, yeah, just for parking. Oh, no, 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 it's not doing that. Yeah. But, but, but in terms of looking at the building, mm. it will have significantly more mass yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll... I'll, I'll set up. Okay, so um, I'm trying to. Do I have a proposal? I uh, I think <laughs> have a real concern that it is just an overdevelopment of the site. I really so you're, you're proposing we should object? Yes. Is there a seconder? I'll second that. Okay. So um, so we have a proposal and second. Those in favour of objecting? Those against objecting? So uh, it, it falls to me. It, it falls to me to have the casting vote, and <coughs> Councillor Walker is not able to vote. I, I will um, take her view into account and uh, 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 vote against objecting. So 
Well, so the motion has failed. The motion has failed. So yeah. I, I, I will propose that uh, we, 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 we make no objection. Is there a seconder for that? Those in favour of no objection. Thank you, Councillor Pike. Those against, those against, those against, those against yeah. no objection. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So, so we make no objection. <laughs> thank you. At least you talked about it. So, uh, are there any representations on the two listed? Uh, no. Thank you. So, we move on to agenda item eight. <clears throat> Um, in fact, no planning matters being received since Thank you. the agenda. Traffic management, highways and road safety matters. Yes, uh, we've had two come through recently. Um, we've been informed that the A4 Chapel Street, there's going to be some carriage repairs on Sunday the 10th of April. That will be between 9am and 1pm. Um, works will be undertaken with lane closures and manual traffic control between these times, um, weather dependent as to whether it occurs. Mm -hmm. okay. so, I'm a little bit surprised because I would have thought that uh, nine o'clock till one o'clock, is it? Mm -hmm. That really means that uh, the contractors are going to find it very difficult to get to morning service, aren't they? Hmm. Perhaps I go to Eden Song. Perhaps I go to Eden Song. Okay, thank you. I think we can just note that one and note to take another route on, um, <clears throat> return by another route uh, uh, if you're going, if you're going traveling on Sunday morning. Thank you. Next one. Um, and the next one, we've received notification that Hearts Hill Road will be closed um, on the 21st of April through to the 22nd of April, um, from 8 till 8. Oh, what, what, what purpose? What you can do, is there? West yeah. Berkshire Council's contractor will be undertaking carriageway resurfacing works. Yes. Um, so you don't do we go up Cold Ash Hill, turn right. And or, the, or, or go further east, depending which way, yes. It's, or, 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 or create gridlock on Lawrence's Lane. <laughs> no. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it'll be a full. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the time? Is that eight? It's all day, two days. Um, 21st and 20 seconds. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, um, the fact of so few funds. So, could I suggest that um, that they consider making tra temporary traffic measures on Lawrence's Lane to avoid gridlock? Oh, no. Okay. I don't even mention Lawrence's Lane. No, I mean, for the council to do. No, the council, council to put up a possibly do a, a, a one way TRO or something so that you don't get people going in both directions down it because that would be a nightmare. Let's see how it works. I mean, that's fine. That's the <laughs> reason why I'm high. I've been in favour of um, Do you think that the solicitor as, as the, the, the most local person, do you I have a, a worry that if people did try to... Uh, 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 yeah, I think there should be a clear sign that says no traffic down there for the diversion. The diversion yeah. should clearly avoid anything yeah. that's mm -hmm. down there. Yeah, so... And I've also asked for the Deputy Town Clerk to inform Coldash Parish Council because I think it, yeah. this will affect... Residents of Coldash Parish Farm or Mitwell residents of Thatcham. And they weren't they weren't listed on the document. Can I just be chief here, yeah. Chairman, say as the word, word Lawrence is laying as a clerk job, uh, can the clerk let us know when there's any news about the progress of uh <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have received no notification yet. No. Thank, you. <clears throat> Thank you. So if you could um I'll, I'll re reply asking them to um, make it clear the diversion does not go by Lawrence's Lane. Sign place that that shouldn't be used. <clears throat> Thank you. If you if you wish, and it's appropriate, I can give you an update on Lawrence's Lane. Thank you. Um, Just by reading out a statement from the planning inspectorate. All oh, right. So would you? You okay, well, I'd love to, I'd love to. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's appropriate it, under this. Not, not really, yeah. Um, 
We should have done that under gender automate, yes, I guess. That's fine. I'll, 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 I'll discuss it. I'll yeah. discuss it. But if you can give, give the link and on, on, on what's that, that'll be good enough, I think. You... <clears throat> Thank you. So, um, decision notices. So, um, these were not considered. Um, this was a front porch um, being refused. Um, these were up to for an application for prior approval, which we were not required to consider. Um, Again, the certificate of lawfulness. And then this is Sherlock Close, which we discussed earlier, um, where the certificate of lawfulness has been refused and they're now applying for planning permission. Thank you. So nothing contrary to what we had concluded. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, that leads us on to agenda item 11. Um, I see Councillor Jeffrey's name is here. So, do you have any any highlights of um, the surface water management? You know, I, I should I say in an open meeting, but uh, I don't think I've actually been included in any information about. Uh, now that might be because none have taken place during the year. But I don't think I've actually received an invitation. You can. Yeah. So maybe that could be. So if we could, uh, Deputy Town Clerk can check on that. Thank you. And uh, Councillor Lillicrop was obviously detained longer than he thought, but um, we've had, I don't think, that, well, so we, have, we don't have any report there on the flood flood forum i guess the the key question there is about the progress on the planning applications for the next two attenuation ponds karen if i may i mean this came up at the last um meeting and there, there's um uh, the uh, the notes for the 15th of march make reference uh, mm. uh to what is said by councillor lily crop but i spoke as well to yeah. say what i had uh, recommended to to brian that he and the couple of uh colleagues perhaps including one of the uh, uh the district council to make an approach to phil dre who i think is the chief man in charge of the planning application to try and move it uh, i, I think it hasn't I've no more news i think it hasn't reached its statutory deadline yet so that they can't um up. Deputy I did check on the three of them earlier today, mm. um, and they're still waiting on a decision. Uh, mm. the dates have just about been reached. Um, right. Okay. Been, I would imagine in so, so, progress, but uh, mm. with no, no more information on it at the moment. Okay. Thank you very much. And so that concludes the, uh, the business of the meeting, and I therefore declare the meeting closed. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman.